fall is here and you've got to go back to the office more than a few times a week. Now the dress code is business casual. What does that even mean? If you ask me when it comes to business casual, it is a lot easier to focus on what you shouldn't wear than what you should wear. So a few things you should be avoiding, jeans, sandals, t-shirts, hooded sweatshirts, casual belts, super casual boots, any sneakers at all, and any sports where you typically are going to want to just avoid that altogether in a business casual situation, if you ask me. Now that we've went over a couple of guidelines of what business casual is and isn't, let's go through 10 amazing outfits that you can wear to look absolutely awesome in a business casual environment. Starting off with outfit number one, a light blue, crisp, well-fitted dress shirt, slim fit navy blue chinos, a black leather belt, paired with some beautifully shined black leather Cole Haan shoes. Now this outfit is super generic and super basic. It's not going to allow you to stand out as much as if you wore some other more attention grabbing outfits. However, one thing you can do to set yourself apart is just make sure that everything fits you as close to perfect as possible. So notice this light blue dress shirt. It is the perfect fit for my body type. The collar is nice and crisp. It is standing up. Since it is a dress shirt, you want a nice stiff collar. The sleeves, there is a little bit of fabric, but overall not too much. I don't look like a pirate with those big baggy sleeves. There is a very minimal amount of extra fabric around the midsection of this shirt, meaning it's pretty impossible for it to start bunching up and going out here and looking like a muffin top on me. But since it is made out of a nice stretchy material, it fits very nice nicely through the chest and the shoulders, meaning that I can cross my arms, I can drive, and I don't feel the shirt binding at all. You can see how I went ahead and I buttoned the second button. Typically, I would leave it unbuttoned. Wanted to do that just to illustrate to you that even though this is a very slim fitting shirt, it is not pulling the buttons apart when I just stand straight. The pants, as you can see, very, very little amount of fabric through the thighs, but when we look down around the calf area from the knee down, it does open up a little bit. There's not a whole bunch of fabric around here. It is a nice, slim, but straight fit down through the leg. It doesn't look like bell bottoms. It also doesn't look like it is painted on either. That is not something you want in a more professional business casual environment. I typically would not wear black dress shoes unless I absolutely need to. But the reason I put these on is to demonstrate to you that you can absolutely look just as good with black shoes as brown shoes. And bonus, if you only have black shoes or you don't want to have to worry about are my brown shoes going to match with this shirt? Am I going to be able to find a matching belt? What if I want to wear a more colorful shirt? Black shoes are just a much easier starting point for a lot of guys. This outfit, we're doing the light blue dress shirt and navy blue chinos that you saw in that first outfit. However, we switched out the black shoes and the black belt for a pair of brown leather McAllister wingtip oxers from Allen Edmonds paired with a nice matching belt. Now at this point, you're probably starting to see why a lot of people, myself included, like brown dress shoes and brown belts a lot better than black dress shoes. This outfit was just a bit too generic and a bit too basic with the black shoes. However, choosing something like a medium brown, not too bright, but not too dark, and putting on a belt that matches as closely as possible to those shoes really does start to make this outfit pop just that little bit more. And now you're starting to set yourself apart from everyone else that's wearing a light blue shirt and dark blue pants. Now for this next outfit, we're going a bit more classic of what you would see a lot of guys wear. Light blue dress shirt, khaki colored slim fit chinos, nice brown dress shoes with a matching brown belt. I find that khaki chinos are always, well, almost always going to be a better option than wearing navy blue chinos since most of us are going to be wearing dark wash denim and the navy chinos are going to look very similar to that anyway. But you can see how the lighter colored khaki is actually brightening this outfit a lot more and just makes it look a little bit more, what's the word, flowy. It just matches a bit more. It blends easier. That's the word I was looking for. The khaki these are also going to allow your brown shoes and your brown belt to pop a lot more. So as long as your belt matches your shoes and you choose something like a medium brown, not too bright, not too dark, you're actually going to start to stand apart from a lot of other guys out there. Since when it does come to men's fashion and style, mismatching your belt with your shoes is a rookie mistake and a lot of guys aren't paying attention to that. And now this outfit's also illustrating how those brighter shades of brown or tan, like the walnut Allen Edmonds strands, aren't going to be as versatile and won't work with an outfit like this, as well as something like a nice medium shade of brown. Now, when I had a pair of walnut strands, I always would opt away from wearing them with this specific outfit. Something about the light 
colored shirt, the light colored pants, and the light colored shoes just started to clash a bit more. And while it did look great in the summertime, it started to fall apart very easily in the fall, winter, or spring. Whereas with a medium shade of brown like Alan Edmonds Dark Chili that you're seeing right here, the shoes and the belt start to anchor this outfit a lot more since they do create a nice contrast. This next outfit, a bit more interesting and a bit different than a lot of guys would wear, especially in a business casual situation. Dark blue slim fit dress shirt on top of the khaki colored chinos with the nice medium brown dress shoes and belt to match. Now, typically darker dress shirts or darker shirts in general are going to be a lot more casual than their brighter colored shirts. However, wearing a dark blue dress shirt is still going to be totally appropriate, especially when compared to wearing some super casual polo shirts or t-shirts. You just have to be careful since you're not going to be able to wear this dark blue shirt over your dark navy chinos. It is going to clash a little bit too easily and it's even a bit tricky to wear these dark blue shirts over dark wash denim. But as long as that shirt fits properly, you keep it nice and iron, wrinkle free, still gonna look like an absolute boss. And if you have a very, very casual environment and people are wearing jeans, sneakers, and t-shirts, which no one should be doing in a business casual environment, this is a great way of dressing down and looking a bit less stuffy, but you're still wearing a dress shirt, so you're still gonna look a lot better than a lot of other people. For this outfit, we're taking a navy blue v-neck sweater, layering it over a light blue polo shirt with a nice dress collar right here. This is a bit more seasonally appropriate just since it is starting to get colder outside and a lot of us are going to want to wear long sleeves or sweaters. But as opposed to just wearing a dress shirt with the sleeves rolled all the way down, buttoned up at the cuff, this is going to add a lot more dimension and make your outfit look a lot more unique than just wearing a single shirt like I just said. If you want to take your outfit from here to here, you've definitely got to try layering sweaters, thin merino sweaters, over your dress shirts or your polos, basically any collared shirts that you would be wearing in your business casual environment. A great thing about this outfit is that if you do start to overheat, you could simply just remove your sweater and you're still going to look very office appropriate as long as you choose a nice dressy shirt or a dressy polo, such as Collars & Co. or really any polo shirt or any shirt that actually has a nice stiff standing collar. And speaking of merino wool sweaters, you don't always have to go with the v-neck sweater all the time. You could choose something that's a bit more casual, like this quarter zip merino sweater that I recently picked up and I've been absolutely loving it. Now a sweater like this is going to be great just to add more variety to your outfit if you're tired of just always wearing the v-neck sweaters. This one's just gonna be a little bit easier to dress down than that v-neck sweater. This next outfit is probably the most casual on the list, going with the light blue Oxford cloth button down shirt over the khaki colored chinos with the brown leather shoes and the brown leather belt. However, we did wear super, super casual Cole Haan Original Grand hybrid dress shoes in medium brown. Now, compared to a standard dress shirt like this, the Oxford cloth shirt is going to be a lot more casual, but they typically are going to be more insulating, making them more appropriate for fall and winter. You just can't dress the Oxford up as much as the regular dress shirt. And in my opinion, wearing a tie with a button down collar, whether it's on an Oxford shirt, dress shirt, or polo shirt, it does not look anywhere near as good as wearing a tie with a standard collar like this. Also a note about the shoes I'm wearing, a standard dress shoe like this McAllister is always going to look better than something like the Cole Haan Original Grands that I'm currently wearing. Now I would not wear this pair of Cole Haan Original Grands just because with that brighter colored outsole, it looks too much like a sneaker, meaning that these can only work in casual environment. I tend to like these better than the ones with a darker colored sole. However, you really can't dress these up past a pair of jeans. But if we take a look at the shoe in all black, you could see it does resemble a dress shoe and you really have to be looking and zeroing in on someone's feet to see that they're actually not wearing a pair of proper dress shoes. They're wearing more of like a comfy sneaker hybrid dress shoe. As long as you keep a hybrid dress shoe like this one clean and properly shined, you're good to go definitely office appropriate. So that being said, I would always opt for a proper dress shoe over a hybrid shoe any day of the week, just because you could see the McAllister dress shoe over here. It's just gonna look a lot sleeker, a lot more high end than the Cole Haan. You see how the Cole Haan has some pretty nasty wrinkles up there, and I do keep these in shoe trees. This is gonna make the Cole Haan look a lot less premium than the Allen Edmonds McAllister wingtip. For this next outfit, we're still keeping it pretty casual. We went with the navy micro gingham dress shirt with the button down collar 
keeping the khaki colored chinos on. However, as far as footwear, we opted to go with the more casual Thursday captains in the whiskey color with that Storm King lugged outsole. Now this isn't worlds apart from the outfit that you saw with the light blue Oxford shirt and the Cole Haan original grand hybrid dress shoes, but it is a bit different just because we are wearing more of a traditional type of dress shirt, although it has a small pattern. And those shoes are a lot more rugged, a lot more casual than the other shoes. I put the Thursday captains about on par with the Cole Haan original grands. In certain situations, the original grand hybrids are going to be better. In other situations, the Thursday captains are going to be better. As far as comfort, the Cole Haan does pull ahead by the Thursday just a little bit, and it's nice that the Cole Haan is still a lower shoe, just means that it is going to be a little bit more formal in that scenario. But looking at both of the shoes overall, the Thursday captains, even with the lugged outsole, is going to be a bit more appropriate if you lean more towards the classic look of menswear, just because the Cole Haan has that sneaker outsole that is not classic, not timeless. A lot of people don't like this and it's going to be really hard to pull these off with a suit. Whereas these, you can pull them off with a suit. Yes, they are not as dressy. They are more rugged. But you've still got a nice sleek silhouette and it's got that classic Goodyear welt with the stacked heel. Overall, the shape and silhouette of this boot is going to work out a bit better when you're talking classic timeless shoes versus the trendy new school sneaker dress shoe. Doesn't know what it was. Cole Haan hybrid shoe. And for this outfit, we kept the gingham shirt. However, we swapped out the khaki colored chinos with a nice medium gray pair. And also, instead of those rugged Thursday Capto Captain boots, just swapped out to some nice Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boots. Now, the gray chinos are a nice option and a great alternative to your khaki colored chinos or your navy blue colored chinos. And the reason for that is just like your khaki chinos, gray chinos can actually match beautifully with light blue and dark blue tops like navy sweaters, navy sport coats, or the navy dress shirt that you saw earlier in this video. Now, of course, you don't need gray chinos. You can just wear khaki chinos every time you wear a dark blue sweater shirt or sport coat on top, but the gray is going to be a nice option since it's going to look a little bit more formal and give off just a bit more of a different vibe than just wearing the khakis. Now, while navy chinos may be more formal than the gray chinos, it just gets a bit harder to match if you have a navy sport coat, navy sweater, or navy shirt up top, since it's going to clash a lot easier than wearing the gray. As you can see, throwing on a navy sport coat with this outfit is going to contrast beautifully with the gray chinos, and the micro gingham shirt, bit more of a casual dress shirt, is going to tie it all together, making the outfit work beautifully. Now, I threw the Allen Edmonds wingtip Dalton dress boot on just to show you that you still can wear boots in the fall, winter, or even spring and summer if they breathe well enough. And the boots can still look absolutely amazing, especially if they are dress boots. And the nice thing about the Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boot is it can do just about everything that their standard dress shoe like the McAllister wingtip Oxford can do. However, the comfort and fit on the boot is going to be miles better. I have walked 10 miles in these boots, no problem. Whereas these shoes, you probably saw a video I did a while ago, it might pop up over in that side. I started to get some issues with it pinching my small toe, it hurting on top, underfoot comfort wasn't the best. Whereas the boot, I don't have any of those comfort issues at all. For this outfit, we are keeping the navy micro gingham shirt on, threw on a nice medium gray merino wool v-neck sweater and went back to the navy chinos with the same medium brown McAllister wingtip oxfords that you've seen throughout this video with the matching medium brown belt. Like I was saying before, the navy chinos can get pretty challenging in certain situations when you start to match them with different colors on top. For example, I really tend to enjoy wearing the navy blue sweaters more than the gray sweaters. However, I can't do it with the navy colored chinos because it's going to clash too easily. But the gray sweater is going to work just as well and as a bonus, it is going to look really good over your dark wash denim. Now, another nice thing about wearing that gray sweater as opposed to that navy sweater is you can throw on a nice navy, this is a bit more of a bright navy, you can throw on a nice navy blue sport coat and even with those navy chinos that are hard to match, you can start to create a nice monochromatic look, especially if your jacket and your pants do have a bit of contrast. Although right here, there's not as much of a contrast as if I was still wearing the gray pants or the khaki colored pants. 
nice. But since we have that gray sweater breaking everything up a little bit, it's okay to go a bit closer and not contrast as well with the dark blue pants and the medium blue jacket. For this final outfit, we're going with the light blue dress shirt, the navy blue merino sweater, and to top it all off, threw on the nice medium navy blue sport coat back to the khaki colored pants with the nice medium brown Dalton wingtip dress boots paired with a matching medium brown belt. I remember before I said the light blue shirt with the dark blue sweater and the khaki chinos are my power outfit. This is my power outfit just a bit more exaggerated since throwing on the sport coat now it does take the formality level pretty high, probably too high for a normal business casual environment. But you never know if you're in a leadership position, if you're running your own company and you do want to look very dressy. However, you don't want to go with a full suit and tie. Something like this is going to be absolutely awesome. This is casual perfection. Uh, doing things like choosing a sport coat that's a bit brighter of a blue and a bit more of this scratchy, almost tweed-like fabric is going to be great for fall. Of course, layering that merino wool v-neck sweater underneath it is going to add to the casual nature of the outfit while still keeping it looking clean and crisp. You're also going to get some great contrast between the light blue, dark blue, and medium blue coat right there. And the wingtip dress boots are the perfect option since they're going to be super comfortable. You can dress them all the way up to a suit and all the way down to jeans. And now, of course, the bonus with this outfit is you can actually take the sport coat off and you're still going to look very well put together with that navy blue sweater and the khaki colored chinos on the bottom. But one thing that I used to do a lot with the sport coat when I was going to the office all the time, I would actually wear the sport coat as outerwear and then just take it off when I got into the office. Now wearing the sport coat as outerwear is a great way to dress it down. It's also nice if you are not used to wearing a sport coat but you want to wear one a lot more often. You can do things like pop the collar up there. You can just tuck the pocket square away or just nix the pocket square all together. Now, as you can see, the sport coat is starting to look a lot more like a top coat, albeit a short top coat because top coats usually come down to mid thigh. You're going to be able to throw on a hat, a nice scarf and some nice gloves, button that sport coat up right there. It's going to keep you reasonably warm. And then when you roll up to the office, you could simply just take it off, hang it up and leave it there or leave it on. The choice is up to you. But if you're not 100% comfortable with wearing a sport coat more often, this is a great way to start getting used to it. So those are our 10 awesome business casual outfits that you can emulate to look amazing and like an absolute boss in the office. But before we wrap this video up, I want to leave you with just a couple of bonus tips. When layering sport coats and sweaters, if you like to wear navy blue on top, which is going to be a lot easier, and it's going to match a lot more skin tones, you're definitely going to want to invest in various shades of gray and khaki colored chinos before you go anywhere near navy chinos since they are going to create a much better contrast with those colors. Everything has to fit you as close to perfect as possible. Pay attention to how something fits in the sleeves, how it fits in the shoulders and chest, and especially in the midsection. However, if a slim fit shirt fits you nice in the midsection, but it is way too tight up in the shoulders and chest area, whereas a regular fit is nicer up here, but a bit bigger in the midsection, definitely go with the more classic looser fit. You can do things like the military tuck and just tuck in the excess fabric around the back. That way it's still going to look as slim, but you're still going to be able to move without that shirt binding. Since if that slim fit shirt is too tight and binding around your shoulders and arms, it's going to get very uncomfortable very fast as you're in the office. As far as how your pants should fit, you don't want to go too skinny, but definitely don't go too big either. Something like a slim or slim straight fit is going to be great here. That way you have a nice taper down toward your shoe. You want to make sure you have plenty of room in the seat and the thigh area of the pants. Or if you go with something that is a more stretchy fabric, you're not going to be uncomfortable, but it's still going to create a nice slim silhouette. Beware of wearing comfortable hybrid casual shoes such as these from Cole Haan. In a proper business casual environment, you shouldn't be going anywhere near these with the lighter colored outsole. While these are great for casual environments only, family get togethers around the holidays, especially with that brighter colored outsole. A hybrid shoe with the darker sole is going to look a little bit more like a dressier shoe. This is as casual as you should go. But with that being said, it is always a better idea to go with a nicer, more classic, more formal shoe like this than a more 
comfort focus shoe like the Cole Haan's. Make sure if you do wear sweaters, you do have a collared shirt under there. A lot of guys I've seen like to try to cheat and just wear a sweater over the rest of their outfit, but they nix the collared shirt. And now you're pretty much right back to that t-shirt look of no collar. And while this might be something that a lot of people can pull off, if you want to make sure you are one of the best dressed people in the office, you're definitely going to always want to make sure that you wear a collared shirt. And remember guys, no jeans, no t-shirts, no sneakers. You're gonna look awesome and feel like an absolute boss. Thanks for watching.